This is Rob Jones with California Surveying and Drafting Supply. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure a traditional RTK setup using the Access software. First, we'll go into Pair Your Receivers. So go to Settings, and then go to Connect, and then go to the Bluetooth area. From the screen, you can select which receiver is the rover and which receiver is the base. Just select them from the drop-down list. If you have not yet paired your receiver, just use the config button down at the bottom of the screen. The main part is setting up the survey styles. Now I already have one configured here for RTK, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll create a new one. So just click New down at the bottom, then give it a name. I'll call it RTK Tutorial. And then select the GNSS type. Then hit Accept. And Accept again. Now from the list, we'll start from the top, so click on Rover Options and make sure the survey type is set to RTK. There's a lot of different broadcast formats you can choose. We recommend you use CMRX for using a modern receiver. That way you can have both GPS and GLONASS support. So we'll keep that selected and go on to page two. Most of these settings are up to you. However, you need to make sure that you're using the correct antenna type. Here at CSDS, we only use the best, so I'm going to use an R10. On page three, you can see where you're measuring to for your antenna height. You can select different options there. And for the antenna height, if you're using a fixed height pole, you can actually type in 2M, and the software will automatically convert to survey feet, or whatever units you're using. The last two pages have to do with what constellations you're receiving, as well as settings for the R10. If you're not using an R10, you won't have a page 5. Now, we'll go on to the Rover data link. If you're using an older version of Access, this will be Rover radio options. Make sure the type is set to radio, and the radio is actually set to receiver internal. Then you want to make sure you're next to your receiver and then click connect. So allow you to access the receiver settings in the head itself. You want to make sure that your radio operating mode is set to rover. Remember your frequency, it basically just has to match your base. And the base radio mode, again, has to match your base. In this tutorial, I'll be using 464.5 MHz as the frequency. And for the base radio mode, I'll be using TrimTalk version 1 at 4800 bits per second. Hit enter to store the radio settings and then hit accept to store the radio data link settings. Now we'll go on to base options. This is going to look pretty familiar. Make sure the survey type is set to RTK. Broadcast format is the same as in the rover setting, CMRX for us. And then make sure the station index is set to a number you can remember. This will be important later. I'm using another R10 from my base, so I have that selected. Page 2 is where you can enter your antenna height. I'm not using a fixed height tripod. So on page 3 I'll just confirm my satellite constellations and then hit accept. The last section we'll go to is the base data link, or base radio options and older versions of access. I'm not going to be using an external radio, so I'll just set the radio to receiver internal. Then hit the base button to switch the software from the rover to the base, and then hit the connect button to connect to the receiver head. Make sure the radio operating mode is set to base as you're now configuring your base station. Now just match all the settings you configured for the rover. Frequency for us is 464.5. Base radio mode is TrimTalk version 1 at 4800 bits per second. I'm not going to use a repeater, so I'll select None. And then channel sharing. I usually just set this to None. I have not seen this make a big difference. Then hit Enter to save your settings. And then hit Accept. Now make sure you hit Store here to save all of your settings you've just done in the survey style. Now you can escape back to the main menu. And you're basically ready to survey. Go into General Survey like you normally would. I don't have a job open yet, so I'll go to Jobs. Then I'll go to New Job, and I'll name it RTK Tutorial. Coordinate System is obviously up to you. I'll just set this as State Plane, so I'll go to Select from Library. And then the system is US State Plane, 1983. I'm in Sacramento, so that's Zone 2. Access requires me to set a project height before I can store, so I'll just enter in zero, and then I'll hit accept. Everything is good to go here, so now we can actually start the survey. To do that, just go to measure, then go to RTK tutorial, or whatever you named yours, and we're going to start the base receiver. I'm not set up over a known point, so I'll just do what's called a here survey. To do this, I'll tap the over arrow and hit key in, and then I'll just hit here down at the bottom of the screen. 
This will fill in northern, easting, and elevation as you see here. Now I can assign it a point name and hit enter. Here's where I can set my antenna height. And also make sure that your station index is set to the number you chose before. Access will automatically fill this in based on your survey style, but it's always a good idea just to double check it. Then you start the base. Now to start the actual survey, go back to measure, and then go to RTK tutorial, or again, whatever you named it, and we're going to start measuring points. It'll automatically connect to your rover via Bluetooth, and then it will start the survey. A question we get sometimes is, why do the satellites drop when you actually start the survey? As you can see, I have between 12 and 13 right now, and when I start it, it'll go down to 9. This is because you can only correct from common satellites shared between the rover and the receiver. If one of your receivers is only GPS capable, this number can actually drop pretty drastically. To confirm you are actually connected to your base via radio, you can see the animated radio icon on the right-hand side of the screen. That concludes the tutorial. Thank you for watching.